of one of the most important people in the saga, former Missouri Governor Eric Greitens trial pleads guilty to evidence tampering in St. Louis court. It is a major development and the former governor tonight says the truth has prevailed. Fox 2's Andy Banker was inside the courtroom and joins us live with the potentially far reaching implications. Andy. Yeah, Mandy, 69 year old William Don Tisby is a former FBI agent. He was hired by St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner to investigate an invasion of privacy allegation against then Governor Eric Greitens. A year later, Tisby himself was indicted, charged with seven felony counts of perjury and evidence tampering. He allegedly lied during a deposition about notes that he and Gardner exchanged in the Greitens case. The notes centered on a semi-nude photo Greitens allegedly took of his mistress without her permission. Prosecutors could never come up with that photo. The criminal case was dropped. Greitens resigned from office. He tweeted today's news and in a statement said the truth prevails. Tisby's trial was to begin tomorrow with Gardner scheduled to testify. She now faces a disciplinary hearing next month, largely tied to the Tisby case. She could lose her law license and be forced from office. Tisby pleaded guilty to misdemeanors today, a single count, and he received a year's probation. All other charges were dropped. His attorney says he was not purposely trying to mislead anyone. I think it was just more an issue of just negligence in this matter. Um, it was a, a, t a slew of documents that he had, and, and he just went into that deposition really just not prepared, and, and, and that's what it was. It was no malice in this man's heart. The statements that uh, were going on in the deposition were to try to conceal and suppress those particular documents that he didn't want to talk about. And we've had him plead guilty to that. So the information lays out. He did so by testifying that they didn't exist when, in fact, they did. And here's the dilemma now for Kim Gardner. Tisby admits to lying under oath in a deposition in her presence, concealing evidence in the case. And attorneys tell us that her failure to correct things on the record during that deposition at the time could be seen as a major breach of legal ethics and could cost her her job. She has yet to respond to our request for an interview tonight. Live in downtown St. Louis, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.